What is going on, everybody? Today we're doing something a little different. Today we are working with that. Installing a trailer hitch on my wife's 2017 Cadillac XT5. Um, so, I ended up getting this fancy little kit that came with everything that we needed. Uh, you can see it's got the tow hitch, the ball, all the hardware, and the wiring kit. So, it looks like it should be a relatively easy install, so let's get started. Alright, so aside from laying down under the car, uh, the first thing I want to do is look and find this. This is the connector where you're going to attach the new wiring harness to. Uh, before I started getting into all this, I wanted to make sure the wiring harness fit. I don't know why. That's where I'm starting. So, I want to just make sure. Ouch. So, before, let's go on. I took this off once already, but I wanted to show you where it's at. So, this red thing right here that my thumb is on, that was slid forward. In order to get it off, you gotta slide that back. So that way you can get in here and push, and then this front part will come off. Hopefully, you'll be able to see. And then I got the new wiring harness. I just want to make sure it plugs in before I start putting stuff in the way. Snap right in. Alright, so, uh, grab you. Yeah, so as you can see, snap right in. This slot slides into something up here, so I'm gonna put it back where it was. Hopefully, I can see or use a force to get it in there, and then, uh, the wiring part is done. Easy peasy. Okay, next thing on the agenda. Let's remove this. It's the tow hitch cover. There's two seven millimeter bolts right here that we just need to remove. Let's get that. Move this out of the way. And uh, give me a little bit more access. So. So I don't lose them. Alright, now I got some extra room to work with. Now, I'm going to, uh, I believe what I need to start doing now is getting the, the hardware in place. So, uh, let me figure out how I'm going to do that and then uh, I'll let you guys know. So now comes the part where you get to slide the hitch under there and hook this, start putting on the bolts. This is the hardware that it comes with. These washers have like these little, I guess they call them teeth. These are supposed to go against the, the hitch itself and then bolt these on. Once you get them in there, you got to torque it down to, I believe it was 70 foot pounds. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you the hardware and show you that this is a little unique. I don't know if how well you can see it, but um, yeah, so they start finagling the hitch under the truck and uh, see how I'm gonna get these things all started. All right, got the first snafu. These don't fit. And the instructions said that we might have to ream this out, so I have to ream that out because this doesn't fit. And these guys, which go up in here and sit on the other side of the hole they don't fit either so I'll break out my trusty hole saw and uh, hopefully I can finagle this thing in there and widen up that hole a little bit <sighs> good times
Alright, so now I've got the room for those. And these to fit now. Uh, I'll go do this on the other side and then see if I can find some paint or undercoating so I can spray this so that way this shit doesn't start to rust. And uh, keep on moving. Alright, next we're going to do is fish these into the frame rails. Um, they give us a couple of things, well, they gave me a couple of things to uh, work on to get. Really untangle it. These high tech little doodads. So these, you screw the bolt in there, and it turns out like that. And then you can pull this through, and then pull the the bolt through. This has got to be independent of it because it won't fit together. But so inside the frame rail, it's got to sit. You got to pull it through the hole, and then it's got to go through like that. And this is how it catches. So. When you tighten down, it does it. Fit. So let's get a. Uh, let's have fun with this. Okay, now we're gonna fish this through there. I already have the washer and the the hole. Sorry, I know that's great. Should have showed you guys that, but it just slides right now. Nothing special. So now I gotta fish this through to get into that hole. Kind of see it. Well, all right, we got it in. Now, hopefully, we So I fished it in through the washer and now hopefully I'll just slide it through. Bam, just like that. Okay, that was pretty uh not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So Alright, now all I gotta do is do this a few more times. Well, six more times to be, I mean, five more times to be exact. And then, uh, we should be able to put the the hitch itself in. So let me get going on that. Alright, so I finished, finished fishing the, the bolts in on both sides. And I had some undercoating. So you can see I sprayed some undercoating on there. So to help prevent um, the rust from the hole that I had in large. So now, the fun part, I get to lift this heavy ass uh, hitch up and try to align bolts on both sides and get it in. Yeah, it'll be fun. All right, since this thing is heavy and awkward, I recruited my wife. Since this is her car, <laughs> she gets to crawl under here with me. So what we're gonna have to do is kind of wiggle this thing up between the exhaust and this so we have this jack to help lift it up a little bit but we're gonna have to kind of go up at an angle slide it in we're gonna try to get the center bolt started so that way it'll at least hold it in place and then we can get the rest of the everything all started so enjoy the shit show <laughs> Ready to lift? Uh, hold on. Can you lift this thing? I don't know if I can, but I could try.
So I ended up getting the the bolts torqued down to 70 foot, foot pounds. No, I'm sorry, 75. 75 foot pounds of torque on each of them. And I put in the, the two inch uh, drop hitch to see what it looks like. But bam, there you go. I can put the cover back on so when I'm not when it's not in use, make it all look nice again. Now the op test. We're gonna pull out the trailer, I'm gonna hook it up to the same, make sure all the turn signals, brake lights, and all that fun stuff work. And then uh job be done. Alright, now the testing phase. Alright, hit the brakes. All, right, all the brakes go on. Left turn signal. Sweet. Right. Four ways. And then just turn the lights on. All right, cool. All right, everything works. Everything's hooked up. Let's call this job complete. Well, that's a wrap on that install. Um, I've had it on the car for probably over a year now. This video was recorded last year. Um, it's been to a couple of different places. We've taken it to, I think it was, yeah, taken it to Yucca Springs, Arkansas, uh, Northern Wisconsin uh, area, taking it down to Tennessee. Uh, so it's been around. Uh, the trailer has held up. I mean, the trailer hitch, trailer, both have held up well. Uh, we haven't had any problems with it at all. It's a pretty good, it was a pretty good bargain. If I'm not mistaken, it was like a 250 bucks 300 right around there if i'm not mistaken like i said it's been over a year ago i'll find the link to where i bought it and i'll put it in the description of the video but yeah if you need a tow hitch for your cadillac xt5 or your gm version of it and i think also with the gmc i think it's the acadia maybe i'm not 100 percent sure you have to look at that um highly recommend it was a pretty easy install and uh it's been working great ever since so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, you only live once. Live life to the fullest. See you in the next video. Take it easy.